Hello there. This is Anonymous Sarah here with a pop-in and on. This is going to be a collective reading, so this reading may or may not resonate with you. It is not time-specific or sign-specific, so please take the messages that apply and simply leave the rest. Yes, <laughs> I am very dressed down. Um, the only reason I'm wearing an inner shirt is because common decency, right? But when I mean... There's a song that comes to mind. Um, I don't want to curse on my channel too much, but it goes, I have no Fs to give. My Fs have run up dry. I went to go F shopping, but there's no fucks left to buy. Yeah. <laughs> that is literally me today. But I feel like when I woke up, I just got this sudden faint vibe of energy balancing so things are going to start balancing themselves out if you were somebody that over gives or over extends yourself you probably feel my ear is thumping while i'm saying that um you probably feel <clears throat> less inclined <laughs> to want to exert your energy towards someone or something Let's say people abused your generosity at work and you were always sharing your lunch with people. Now you're like, yeah, no. Or people would pile on a bunch of stuff onto you. You might feel like, yeah, I think not. Okay. <laughs> I'm just laughing because uh, it's just so funny. I was very, very drained. I was like, no, I ain't doing nothing today. Nada. I knew I would probably come on here, so here I am. But yes, the bare minimum, right? Bare minimum. I asked the cards, what is this energy? What are we feeling? The devil is on his head. And then I knew. I was like, no, nope, I am definitely coming on here for this one because... This, to me, is probably the best position to see this card in. It is. I don't like seeing this card in the upright at all. But when the devil's on his back, best believe I'll be... <laughs> all the energy to do the reading will come straight to me. Best believe. Oh, my God. <laughs> um... I picked up another deck and the chaser was left behind. <clears throat> so maybe somebody here was a chaser and another person was a runner. Well, I feel like chaser, no chasing. Okay, the chaser in a codependent relationship, fear of abandonment issues. And I heard words like people pleaser. So if someone here was a people pleaser, they're probably over people pleasing because it costs too much. I get this vibe of energy exertion, taking stock of what you got in inventory, and what do you know? Your Fs have run it out. That's what I'm feeling. I'm, I'm literally feeling all of that. So <clears throat> it's funny because I used, I used another deck, but this one's screaming at me more. So let's just see what this is about. Also... As I'm sat here, I heard the song No Air by Jordan Sparks, and it goes, I don't know, I don't know, I can't really sing, but <laughs> I just heard the part, that's how I feel whenever you're not there, it's no air, no air, <clears throat> I'll be out here in the water so deep, tell me how you're gonna be without me, <clears throat> and my chills are like, hurrah, yeah, that's me knowing that. I am waist deep in the energy. Listen. <laughs> Listen. Can I get a vibe on whatever it is I'm feeling here with the devil on its back? Listen. I'm going to be celebrating that throughout the whole reading. When you think of the devil, is anything toxic, right? And I heard the word toxic masculinity. Wow. So maybe toxic masculinity is going to ish. For whoever resonates with this um and don't for one second that doesn't apply to women okay women can have toxic masculinity too we have both energies within us feminine and masculine but there was something that was off balance okay and that is now being purged or that is getting like 
I don't know, something is getting knocked off its pedestal. This could be a person in your life that you once put on a pedestal, but the devil's in reverse. Someone's getting knocked off. Someone who could have been in, in, incredibly egotistical or self-centered, controlling, possessive. Maybe they had addictions, okay? Something here is changing, to say the least. And we'll find out what that is, okay? I hope you guys are doing swell. Yeah, four pentacles. I'm hearing the word energy vampire or someone who's very like clingy to things. This could be energy, time, money, okay? Because pentacles is something of value, but I don't see it as just monetary things, okay? Because energy is value. Time is of value. Where is this going? What's at the bottom of the deck? You're going to ish yourself. When I pull this card, and my friend is my witness, hi Kirsten, um, I told her, I pulled the devil on, the, on his back, and guess who's at the bottom of the deck? Oh, it was, it was the King of Wands, but I shuffled. I promise you, I told her. <laughs> it was the King of Wands. Honestly, a King of Wands that's off balance is indeed toxic masculinity. It's probably someone who is like very used to getting their way, probably very charming, probably very good looking. There is an appeal to this person. With a hangman, I'm getting this vibe of a wake-up call. Someone is probably looking at themselves, thinking about this side of themselves. Look at how nonchalant this man, could be a woman, is sitting on the throne. It's giving, come to me, kneel before Zod. It's giving, I don't have to do much. Why? Because someone was overextending themselves. This could be you, okay? Take whatever fits. But it's about a person. <clears throat> King of Pentacles wanted to shift out. What is going on? King of Swords? It's all about masculine energy. Someone is understanding something. Perhaps that King of Pentacles energy is maybe someone who likes the material things. I'm looking at the sword. I really feel like this person is having some kind of aha moment with the fool. The world, yeah, it's a lesson. The world card is the closing of a cycle. It's the closing of the way things used to be and a whole new world ahead. Maybe a relationship changed this person or a soulmate changed this person. But this is someone who's thinking clearly and I really feel like this person wants to speak up because swords often involve communication yeah this person's waking up this person was perhaps stuck somewhere or they had to look at the error of their ways oh yeah i'm telling you there's an empress here this is that well very giving energy the feminine energy is unconditional love there's growth fertility and expansion available someone is learning something through another person through this energy they were stuck until they learned this lesson the tower I'm telling you this will knock anything off a pedestal it's an epiphany I'm hearing it's an epiphany because the tower can yes be the structure you know disintegrating but this combination is incredibly powerful because someone is gaining a new perspective due to getting knocked off their pedestal I, look they're showing me the crown see how the crown is on the head of the tower the energy balancing is causing someone's crown to get knocked off it had a lot to do with that king of wands but this person now is learning this king is in the upright so I can't talk bad about <laughs> him or her <laughs> okay it's someone who's gotten some sense of clarity 
with the world, this clarity is closing out a huge cycle in their life. Whatever they used to do is not working anymore. This person is very calculated too. I can feel it. It's someone who's very smart. For some of you, this person is well-educated or street smart. But this person is wise and they're just like observing right now. Yeah, the hangman. They're looking at things from a different perspective. But this aha moment kicked in because they're no dum-dum. They're no dum-dum. Scorpio energy, Pisces, eight of cups. Someone is walking away, okay? Maybe someone emotionally detaching and walking away from them gave them the wake-up call they needed. The Eight of Cups is, I put eight cups in this situation. That's a lot of water, that's a lot of emotion, that's a lot of love. But someone is walking away knowing that they've invested all those cups, their cups. And anyone who knows tarot, there's only 10 of any element in the deck. One person gave eight. That's a lot of water. That's a lot of love. That's a lot of emotion, care, generosity. But someone it did not get their return on investment. And in realizing that, there's a departure here. It's someone who's looking forward to other things, turning their back. Hopeful, I'm hearing. Hopeful to an abundance of water, wishes coming in, new beginnings with the star. Interesting. Nine of Wands. I'm hearing I'm not backing down. Someone here is a wounded warrior. There's something they're not giving up on. And I don't know where this is going, but let's see. Four of Cups. This person who had this realization is incredibly unhappy. For some of you, this person was emotionally unavailable. You see that little boy? Just not like cups or spills over. This person's not happy. For some of you, the inner child in them was triggered because it's a little boy or a girl, okay? Doesn't matter. But this is someone who's emotionally very dissatisfied with maybe a series of events that brought them to this lesson. Yeah, they need courage. They need courage and strength to maybe talk to somebody. I'm hearing this saying of extending the olive branch, apologize. It, I'm getting so much pride off of this strength card. Leo energy, pride. You see how big that lion head is? My goodness, it's huge. For some of you, you're the source of taming this person's ego or knocking it straight off. Like, there's a shift happening. Yeah, you're the awakened being, okay? There's something about what you taught this person taming their ego or giving it a rude awakening with that tower. This tower moment is a realization. It's less about a series of unfortunate events could be as well but i feel strongly this is a wake-up call someone isn't as important as they once were the devil loves being important this person's toxicity ran very deep okay but they're not happy here they're not but i really feel like this is someone who can put up a stiff fight the nine of wands is a wounded warrior it's somebody who doesn't back down from a fight i mean look at the image of this woman that's not somebody who is ready to give up, okay? This person has to find the strength, get the strength to do something. Where is this strength card <laughs> leading this person? High Priestess. One's intuition. The moon. Okay, a full moon is going to be very, very significant here. I think we have one coming up very soon. This person could have a lot of water placements with heavy Pisces here, but this is someone who their intuition is almost haunting them right now because they've had the epiphany, because they know. I'm seeing a bit of a haunting, okay? The moon and the high priestess. 
And when you turn the high priestess on its head, you see the peak of a, of a, maybe that's like a crescent moon or a new moon. There is an energy of the moon, literally the card, and the high priestess doing something to this person. There is a moon in the background as well. This is nine of swords. It's mental entrapment, anxiety, feeling unsettled, uh, miserable at night, not sleeping, insomnia. This is... Okay, this is haunting the person. This shift is haunting the person. They need strength because there is a haunting here. There's something that is making this person unsettled. Look, there are moons in the pillars here. This is the moon card with the moon in the background with wolves, honestly. There are wolves in the background. And <laughs> this speaks for itself. This person can't sleep. I have no idea where this is going. Oh my God. The Ace of Swords is the epiphany. The Ace of Swords is the lesson. The Ace of Swords is a cutoff sometimes. Archangel Michael's Sword of Truth. This lesson needed to be acquired because this person was very toxic. Very or they had toxic traits. You know, it's funny because I noticed this hawk on this king's throne. He's holding the hawk and I it, it stood out to me and I didn't say anything, but it stood out to me and I'm seeing the hawk again. The hawk is maybe a spirit guide. The hawk is part of delivering the message. <laughs> Maybe Archangel Michael himself, who knows? But something big here, this is a divine lesson. This is them taking stock of the situation. I feel you too have taken stock of this situation. Look, yeah, that's you, Empress. The Empress, the person that's predominantly in their feminine energy, likely overgave. This is you looking at your inventory, realizing, okay. <laughs> I have no Fs to give. My Fs have run this dry. <laughs> this is you also realizing that you're the reason this bush or this money tree is flourishing. You're the magician and the empress. And I feel like for the longest while you were in your head until you took stock of a situation. Now this person is in their head until they receive this divine lesson. Wow. Coming beyond the Ace of Swords. I wanted to know beyond the Ace of Swords. This person is in isolation, but it's not fun. This is all the inner demons attacking this person. This person has to go and battle with their own mind. This is a battle within. The Five of Wands is chaos, conflict. You know, usually people see this card as an external thing, but these are like dungeon dragons. This is happening inside of this hermit who has to go find him or herself again. The Ace of Swords is more powerful than the Five of Wands, but there is a lot going on with this person. It has a lot to do with the toxicity. Okay, one of these dragons has the horns of the devil. Look at it right there. Oh my God. Th this person is going up against the goat man inside of him or her. That's this, this reading took a interesting turn. The hermit, yeah. This person was in denial about themselves. They were. They blocked off any like light or enlightenment. This person could have some chakras off balance. Perhaps they don't know how to love properly. There's something happening to this person. This is them being open to the light, trying to find the light in this dark period because they were in denial before. Two of Swords is all about denial. Oh, and guess who they were in denial about? The most loving energy of the Queen of Cups. This could have been you, okay? They could have blocked you or 
I, I heard the word stunted your growth, but I also heard this is someone who wasn't receptive to you. Maybe they didn't reciprocate your love, okay? This is someone who was in denial about you being who you are to them. Oh my God, you were a star. You were the wish. And this person blocked you off and that's something they have to figure out for themselves right now. Because this two of swords is heavy denial. Maybe denial of their own feelings, maybe denial of who you were, who you are to them, that you actually exist. Like this is, Mm -hmm. Okay, tell me. So this 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 truth is making all the creepy crawlies in this person's head come out because it's making them realize, oh, my ish does stink. <laughs> does that make sense? <laughs> oh wow, I really do stink. Oh, I my farts do stink. This person might have thought their farts smell like perfume. I don't know, but this is hitting this person. <laughs> Ooh, the Hierophant. This almost feels like a decision. This feels like a spiritual contract. Okay, why is the Hierophant here? This feels like God's energy, honestly. Okay, because this is someone who was off balance okay this is the little boy it's bringing me back to a, a younger <clears throat> spirit there's a lesson here this honestly feels like the divine you know the hierophant sometimes can be a figure in the community that is looked up at but this feels like the divine had their handiwork here it's all over the reading the world the tower the ace of swords the devil on its head I'm hearing, I have the final say. Wow, that's powerful. I have the final say here. I dare shuffle and continue. <clears throat> this person is very, very unhappy. But something about them being the source of their own unhappiness is very strong, okay? Now, this person doesn't have anybody but themselves to fight with. Perhaps this person was very argumentative, sometimes withdrawn. There's a lot of secrets here too. The moon and the high priestess are very secretive cards. This could have been a very spiritual connection when I see the high priest and the high priestess. But the moon, it's like this person is unlocking a side of themselves that they chose not to acknowledge. Yes, oh my God. <laughs> it's easier not to acknowledge my faults, I'm hearing. It's easier to sweep them under the rug. But they can't, they can't hide it anymore. The Ace of Swords is triumphant. This person's internal conflict could be, oh yeah, this person was never it anyway. Or to the contrary, this is like, you know, I'm hearing ego puffing, puffing oneself up like I'm better than this anyway. They're lying to themselves, but the truth is so clear that their ego is fighting the truth to spare itself. But... The ego can't win here. It just can't. It didn't. Like, that's, that's why I'm doing this reading, right? Mm. Ooh. That's terrible. So the emperor is on its head here. For some of you, this is someone, and I, I anytime I, I've done a reading, okay, this is my, when my channel was taken down, uh, before my channel was taken down, People who know me a lot longer, they'll remember I did a reading called The Fallen King. The Fallen King or Queen. This person is going to offer their cup of love. However, I don't know if this is a failed attempt or a successful one because it's literally on the ground. This is someone whose ego probably dominated their life, okay? And when it comes up on the ground like that, I don't know whether to take it in the upright or in the reverse. But I saw it in the reverse. This is a fallen king or queen, guys, coming back to express emotion, 
give you maybe a new experience. This is looking like Prince Charming on a horse, honestly. But it's really up to the viewer and their own discernment to assess <laughs> if this is worth pouring your energy into again. You gave eight whole cups and you walked away. This is someone who had to learn something about themselves through you. I'm hearing, I want to make amends. And I want to call it truth, something like that. This is someone who likely had the potential to be that person in your life. I heard we'll see. We'll see. Oh. There's a lot of light here with the sun and the knight of cups. <clears throat> This person needed this lesson to upgrade. Whether that upgrade is good enough for you, I don't know. But I'm just getting this weird dead silence. Like this is someone who has no one to fight with, no one to argue with, no one to... This truth is silencing this person and they have nothing but their thoughts. Remember I saw the hermit. It's very quiet all of a sudden, which it's been, but I just feel this weird energy, energetic silence. Does that make sense? This could be you, okay? Your energy is quiet. You could have retracted your energy is what I'm getting. Like there's this weird silence and this person is feeling a ways. Yeah. This person could be working on a plan. This is like a strategy. With well, a chariot is to move forward and come and bring this cup of love, which unfortunately, I don't have a single cup in this spread except for the one that brings forth emotional dissatisfaction or emotional unavailability. This is quite something because you gave eight cups. This person almost was never really required to put in more, which now that's the only thing that could save this. Mm -hmm. And I'm hearing for some of you, it's not enough. Wow, that's uh, quite a standpoint right there. Can I get some cards to further emphasize what's going on here? We have Taurus, <clears throat> Aries, Capricorn, Pisces, Strong, Leo, Scorpio, Fixed Signs, Aquarius, Leo, Taurus, and who? Scorpio. Yeah. Pisces came out like what, three times? Cancer as well. This is very interesting. Um, I like you. And I'm hearing that's just it, it wasn't enough. Someone likes you, romance is blooming, fun, flirting, and wanting to date. For a lot of you, they didn't make it past this. For some of you, they never told you they love you. I'm hearing that. I like you, but they never said I love you. For others of you, they had a, a hard time saying these words. This person is reflecting. They're looking at the man or woman in the mirror. This is someone who, with an I like you, it's like, okay, yeah, but I could like a dog. I could like this Martian man. I could like candles. I could like my makeup. I could like this deck. I could like the painting on the walls. I could like, yeah. Whatever they either said or did didn't carry much weight. And that's the problem. Like that, When I saw this card, I could see it as a new suitor. But this, no, they're telling me this is the problem. They never... The Four of Cups is quite limited, okay? The cups are all spilled here. And for some of you, you were very interested in this person. You were just studying them. 
this mermaid is looking at this boy thinking, well, what am I to do with this one? Because this <laughs> for some of you, you literally said that, like, I can't go much further with this person because it doesn't go beyond a certain amount of emotional availability. Yeah, that's terrible. Maybe they dated and they kept it at the dating phase. For others of you, they had a lot of fun playing around and flirting with you. Romance was blooming. I'm hearing the butterflies in the stomach. Someone likes you, but did they love you? Would they know what that really is? Would they know what applying oneself and reciprocating your love? Because you gave full eight cups. <clears throat> Let's read the mirror card. Mirroring each other. Self-image relationships reflect our wounds and introspection. That's exactly what I said. All of this is happening inside of them. This conflict is happening inside of them. This discovery I'm hearing. You see how this woman is holding this torch? It's happening inside of them because all these demons are coming forward. Inner, yeah, I don't like saying the D word, but it's coming forward. This person is waking up. This person had to learn this huge lesson about themselves. They had to go within. For some of you, you were a key on a ring. <clears throat> Keys on a ring, many options, decision, unconventional, string along. For some of you, you felt strung along. For some of you, this didn't make it past just sexual intercourse. For some of you, they had options or you felt like an option. They have a decision that awaits and it's very clear who they want. I just feel like this is someone who doesn't match your vibration and I hope for them they're not late to the party because this is someone who wants to arrive. You see, the little boy is on the horse. Something about this person's inner child, you see, it's them. It's honestly them, guys. It's the same white horse. Something about this inner child, there's a light shed on them. For some of you, this person can grow up quite fast. Yo, I'm seeing this acceleration. This is insane. Oh my God. And this is why Spirit wanted me to use this deck because my chills are on fire. The illustrations as a, for a reader are so important. From this child to this prince to whatever this steed is literally going through the clouds, I'm hearing acceleration. This person can grow up pretty fast. <laughs> like clearly there is a soul's growth spurt that I'm seeing here. There's a soul's growth spurt through introspection, through this internal battle, through, you know, wow. That's why they wanted me to use that deck. Healing heart, healing from heartache, freedom from a toxic relationship or addiction. This could be you healing. Mm -hmm. This could also be them fixing their ish. Oh my God. This is a twin or a soulmate with the ax at the bottom of the deck. You stopped a pattern here. You could have broken up with this person. This could have caused a separation between you two. OMG. This is a very, very, very strong an often painful connection. I'm hearing you're constantly dancing around each other. This is a twin flame message, guys. And I'm hearing a spirit guide, and not everyone is a twin flame. Like, <laughs> not everyone is like, just anyone is your twin flame. I'm laughing. <laughs> Breakup, separation, stop the pattern, silent treatment or abandonment. I'm telling you, this abandonment thing could have triggered someone. Yeah. Yeah. For some of you, this person was very passionate. The chemistry was insane. But they were dealing with their own hangups. With not enough, this person could have been very insecure. Or they brought out your own insecurities, frustration in a relationship, lack of confidence, a self-sabotaging trait, fear and ego issues. Whether you overgave and that could have been the problem, 
or this person acting like egocentric could have been the problem. This is an ending. You guys are ending a phenomenal <laughs> dragged out chapter in your twin flame cycle. Endings bring new beginnings, growth, change, liberation, and transition. You're transitioning. You've liberated yourself from overgiving, perhaps. If you're watching, you're probably the overgiver. And if you're this person, listen, no, I'm just playing. Um, get it together, <laughs> right? Get it together. Like, that's the sweetest way I can say it. Endings bring new beginnings. Yeah, someone here is growing from this. They've changed, okay? They've liberated themselves from this, but there's a transition occurring. And it has a lot to do with this. And I want the viewer to kind of figure it out themselves. Is this person ready? When they come back around, have they grown? Have they? I can't say that for each person. That's why it's a collective reading. Weight of the world. Oh my God. This coincides with everything I said in the beginning. Boundaries. Let it go. It's not yours to carry. For some of you, you carry all this person's problems on your back. This is the people pleaser. This is the overgiver. This is the chaser in a codependent dynamic. All right. This is you. It's giving me like no stress is allowed here. You're chilling. You have boundaries now. You used to carry the weight of the world on your shoulders, but no more. You have boundaries. You let go. It's not yours to carry. And for some of you, that's your lesson here. Don't carry this person's hangups for them. Don't enable a monster. Don't coddle them either, I'm hearing. It's not your burden to bear. Deep cellular healing. This is what's asked of you right now. Arcturus energy, physical and emotional healing. I'm hearing replenish yourself. You, your, your battery was likely drained. I mean, I know what that's like. Hello. Whether you excessively give to friends, co-workers, family, or this person, you have to replenish and restore the energies that you have given away. It's expensive, I'm hearing. It's, it's very expensive. Because energy is like you put time into something. You, you put your energy in it too. I'm seeing somebody who likes maybe crafts. It's like if you took your time to make something, build something, and every time somebody crushes it or they're acting like careless with it, you'd be pissed, right? For a lot of you. You saw this person take your energy, your love, or kindness for granted, and you never had a reaction. For some, your reaction was, well, let me give them some more. Maybe then they'll treat it better. I'm hearing your... Precious time, energy, and resources are expensive. For some of you, money is an energy too. Whether you're a man or a woman, you've been maybe giving this person so much money. You worked hard for every dollar you've earned. If this person isn't replenishing you in any way, don't overgive. You guys are going to start feeling a lot better when you pour back into yourself because something wasn't right here. I see a lot of water surrounding this person. Those are the cups. Mm -hmm. For some of you, I'm getting this energy of a man, okay? And hello, because I'm seeing more masculine energies in the comment section. Um, someone here was giving a lot of money to a feminine or you know hey same sex can as well right but you were giving a lot of money to this person and you worked very hard for that okay and while you can't like keep your money and pour it into yourself they're saying that money is your energy too some people think that you know that is just like an endless source of something no, they're saying that's energy too, because you have to work for it. And a lot of people say people manifest money because it's an energy, la-di-da, right? But no, that is an energy. 
it's an ebb and flow. It comes in, it goes out. It comes in, it goes out. What happens when it goes out too much? <laughs> that also becomes a problem, correct? For some of you, your lesson was through the amount of money you poured out into somebody and perhaps they took it for granted and kept taking and kept taking and kept running away with it. And then it sinks in. Maybe you have to work more to replace that money. You see where it ties into your energy again? I'm speaking to a man specifically. Because a lot of you, you give freely. But you worked for it too. And someone here took it for granted. Okay? Your love your understanding, I'm hearing. Someone here was incredibly understanding. I see somebody having boundaries. I'm looking at the bottom of the deck. I'm seeing weight. So it could be a waiting period. It says it's not yet time. Things are being woven. Which I would never encourage anybody to wait on another person. But I see an incubation period here. Okay. This is you regaining what was lost. I'm also hearing mental, mental exhaustion. Okay. Regaining what was lost. And... There's like a wait for something. I almost feel like the divine, yeah, I'm looking at this card. The divine wants to <laughs> restore. They want to balance out your life. For some of you, that comes with reconciling with this person. And for others of you, to the contrary, release them. It says, release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. And for others of you, it says, reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. This is the split energy I was feeling when I did my Lionsgate reading. That's why I said it. Not everyone is going to cut it. If they don't give to you, I'm looking at this card now. Oh my God. If they don't give to you, guys, all my decks are saying something subliminally as I'm panning through. Okay. If they don't give to you and I'm looking at this one, it makes no sense. Detox. Like this is crazy. For some of you, you're at home detoxing. All of the decks that are like facing me have something to say. There are only three decks here that are facing me, like bottom up. They're all saying something about this situation. This person, first of all, the divine has their handiwork in balancing this thing out. You gotta detox yourself to so just clear your space and your energy. And for a lot of you, if this person, you see the sun, that's her smile. If this person puts out and is consistent, great. Otherwise, and for some of you, you know better, so know who you're dealing with. I'm not going to sit here and encourage somebody to take their toxic ass ex back. I'm not that person. Even if it's your twin. <laughs> Even if it's your twin. Which soulmate or not, we have many in life. Okay. <laughs> This person is very persistent, let me tell you. Reconciliation is back. What's at the bottom of the deck is so me. This person will be persistent. Very, very. I saw the card already. If the card comes out again, persistence. Is this the energy of a runner becoming a chaser? Who knows? Yes, this is your soulmate. So for a lot of you, yes, this could very well so be the case. Trust the situation is calling for you to have faith. For some of you, I see a soulmate coming into your life and I'm seeing somebody from the past being persistent. Choose wisely. You see how this man has a grip on this woman? That's the woman who doesn't want to let go here, guys. Engagement. I'm hearing all the stops, pulling out all the stops. You see how that switched up? Oh. And even more <laughs> strong lesson at the bottom of the deck. Love yourself first. 
If that was in check, you would have never overgiven to this person. Once you have that sense of self-love, you would have never overdone it for the wrong person or for somebody who wasn't giving equally. Self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Your self-respect makes you romantically more romantically attractive. It's someone who values themselves. So when they're undervalued, they pull away. And that is you respecting yourself. And this person could just switch a route overnight. When I mean this growth feels down near overnight, this is like night and day, correct? Look at, ooh, I'm getting chills. Look at this, the light and the night. Overnight, from a little boy to a teen to what? A grown ass? Yeah, man. This person has a mother loving beard. How? How? Look, here, the blonde kid. Here, a teenager, right? The hair is grown out, but there's not a single stubble on that face. And here, this is, if you guys can see this deck at home, it's a full grown beard. Oh, that's a hidden message. That in of itself is a hidden message. And I'm hearing, you know, the emperor is what drives the chariot, right? A divine being you gotta be divine to be you know in the clouds somebody might step up here and actually put out use your discernment all right that's what i have for you guys if this reading resonated please don't forget to like oh really they want me to use my divine masculine deck for a lot of you um who know me from the previous channel i make my own decks i do i've sold out and I might restock on these two, but I have three in my Etsy shop, which if I <laughs> sold out, why would I put my Etsy shop <laughs> in the description box? So um, I'll see what I'll do in restocking them. I'm sorry for all the times I disappointed you and I feel an eternal bond between us. I'm watching you from afar. Guys, you're being watched. The amount of divine feminines that came to me... <laughs> You see that strategy that came to me and are attracting masculine energies is insane. Why? Because you pull your energy back. There's a surprise coming. This person had that epiphany. Okay. They're thinking a lot. There's a surprise coming. I'm hearing wild cards. So there could be a new person in your life. Look at the little boy I told you about or girl. Okay. There could be a new person coming in your life or this person from your past what did i talk about repeating cards persistent i'm watching you from afar you are being watched feminines man or woman you're being watched like hell you are and i did a reading yesterday where i said the predator is stalking its prey the predator is still stalking its prey Yep, this is that moment where they're in their dungeon <laughs> doing that thinking. I'm working on my shadow side right now. They're reflecting. And I'm telling you, you guys are going to get courted. There's this energy of them wanting to show you a different experience. And there's an element of surprise here as well. They felt trapped or feel trapped. It's in the mind, I'm hearing. The mind. They need to free themselves from their own mental entrapment. And look. Guys, you're being watched. <laughs> social media. I told you, persistence. I watch your social media quite often. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, this could be your WhatsApp profile, your Instagram stories, your Instagram posts, your WhatsApp status. Or whatever messenger app you use because they want to make things right for some of you this could be anyone watching you okay because i felt that there's an attracting energy around you guys yeah this person honestly thinks that you're meant for them and forever will be together they recognize that you're the bonnie to their clay this is them wanting to be proud to be your person. 
It's like they would be very proud to have you by their side. And that's why they're like this. Whoever this person is watching you, they see you as somebody that could be their partner. Okay? Yeah. Whoever this is watching. For some of you, this person is ghosting you. Has ghosted you. In that ghosting period is getting the clarity they need as the King of Swords. That I'm telling you, this person wants... This is the person that they want to grow old with. They want to fight battles with. Cheek to cheek. They want to go to Christmas parties with and jump on a bed when they're, you know. For some of you, this person could be a little older than you or a little younger. Age gap relationship. Yeah. Well, they want to make memories. They don't want to disappoint you anymore. It came in the reverse because you're part of their peace. That's why they can see grow, see themselves growing old with you. You add it to their peace. But if they disrupt yours, I'm hearing a siren. If they disrupt yours, that's a very big red flag. So use your discernment when this person comes in because some will pull out the big guns They'll put a ring on it, no questions asked. For others of you, they're coming in with lavish gifts. Their Sunday's best. That's what I have for you. If this reading resonated, please don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye.